Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is 8 News. How are you doing today? I just wanted to put this little compilation together about what's going on around uh, our United States of America as we speak. Um, I have three articles here, and I'll leave them in the description box below so you can read them. These, these are kind of concerning. Inside a New Hampshire hospital, overwhelmed by COVID. Um, they're talking about uh, COVID infections are surging in much uh, country, especially in uh, parts of New England. And then New Hampshire. And it goes on. We're saying they're getting overrun by uh, COVID-19 uh, patients. Uh, they're getting overrun by a lot of crazy stuff. Um, just recently, and this is not in the article, but uh, Goldman Sachs had a tuberculosis scare inside their office um, in New York City. That's something you need to watch out for, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, because if you think of it in the long run... You know, tuberculosis is not good. It, it, it can get you into deep, deep trouble. You know, it goes in the air and then it can kill you. Nobody wants tuberculosis. And now it's popping up. No, I'm afraid if this pops up tuberculosis, then we're going to have a nation under chaos. I guarantee it. We're already in chaos. If we get tuberculosis, that's in the in air, basically. People are going to flood out of that city like there's no tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest with you. People are going to escape as fast as possible. People who listen to me in, uh, in those cities, please get out of there as quick as possible because I don't know what's going on to happen. I don't know what the heck is going on over in the cities with tuberculosis scare and uh, other things. And that can rampantly in New York City. Everyone's so close together, it could become ground zero of some hellacious nightmare that I don't want to talk about. But uh, that's, you take, a, take a look at this article. It's a pretty good article. The next article is, is uh, Char uh, Charleston Hospital accused of ignoring warning signs of alarming infections in new lawsuits. There is a hospital in uh, Charleston, South Carolina, I think it is. I think Charleston, South Carolina. That is... Um, uh, being sued because they ignored warning signs of uh, possible very risky uh, viruses in their area. Uh, in 2018, it started. And uh, it's a pretty good article to read. It, it's uh, kind of scary when you look at it. That this hospital knew something bad was about to happen. But they didn't want to, uh, you know, they didn't want to say anything about the, the virus and anything else. They just wanted to live the normal every day, and now we're in a pandemic on this one. So that's something a good read. Uh, I'll leave it in the description box below. The last one I really want to talk about is this is, is kind of New York Post pops pop something out as a hunting um, hunting photos show woman uh, hunting as a haunting. Sorry, Blech. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I have a uh, I have a uh, what they call uh, pneumonia. So I'm 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 trying to do this and. I'm not even thinking straight. I'm on all these medicines. Haunting uh, photo show woman partying just hours before she was dumped outside L.A. hospital. Oh, shows this woman partying with all the celebrities to other people. And they're having a good time. And there's a paparazzi. And then she gets thrown in the ER freaking uh, entrance. And I don't know if she's alive or dead. I didn't read the whole thing. But you don't go partying at this particular time, ladies and gentlemen. I, you know, I, I don't understand people. We're in a big, huge pandemic, and they care about partying more than keeping themselves safe. You know, I, I like a good party. I like a good sarsaparilla. I like a good shindig. But, you know, I, I, don't, uh, I don't put people in harm's way for it. I like theme parks. I like going to theme parks. I like riding roller coasters. I like going on the dark rides, uh, haunted houses, stuff like that. I love doing that stuff. I'll tell you a story. It's a personal story of mine. It's I don't really, you know, I don't want people to think I'm a little weird. It's kind of weird. Um, I went to Halloween Horror Nights uh, this year, and uh, I was in one part of the scare zone. I don't know what happened, but I had a seizure. I never had a seizure in my whole life. I went to Horror Nights, and I had a seizure for some apparent reason. I never get them. I never got a seizure. I never had a seizure. And um, I had a little bit of a seizure. Um, you know, 
I was embarrassed, but um, it, it, maybe I'm getting older or something. I have no idea what happened. The doctors told me it could have been a spare moment of my, my heart rate, my blood pressure, and my uh, electrolytes and other things that were in cause, probably. And it was a perfect storm and had a little seizure. But I, I feel good now, but I'm, I'm like Depakote and some other um, anti-seizure medicines. I don't know the names. I know Depakote is one of them. But, um, you know, it's kind of scary, you know, when you think of it. And uh, I had never had one ever since after that one. So uh, that was kind of a scary situation I was in. I, I don't even know how to explain it. But, you know, the people in Orlando, I went to... Uh, Advent Health uh, out of in Orlando when I remember that Advent Health Hospital and they were very professional. I, I think they did a really good job um, They gave me the oldest room in the, uh, the hospital, but I like old stuff and I like small confined spaces, so It doesn't uh, Didn't it, you know affect me whatsoever very nice people there very caring uh, individuals and um, you, know, you know there and uh I had pneumonia too, and uh, I had that uh, um, on the 17th. I got suspected pneumonia, so I'm on some antibiotics with some uh, steroids for the lungs and some breathing treatments on my nebulizer. I also have a chronic uh, severe uh, asthma now, but I think I'm doing pretty well. I feel much better. I can talk really well. Um, sometimes I have this sensation I can't even explain and I did leave the hospital due to the fact that um, there was a second person in the room with me and I don't like sharing rooms in the hospital with somebody um, just because what we're in right now I'd rather take the Russian roulette at home than in a hospital at least I'm around my family that loves me I don't want to be around in a room that someone else is there and suffer and ah it maybe it's just selfish in me but i rather, you know, I felt better. I uh, said, can I do this at home outpatient? And it's because some other person needs the room that needs it more than I do because I felt much better. And I just don't like to take up hospital beds if I don't have to. So that's just personally my, uh, you know, thing I go through in life. Um, some people say, you know, you should have stayed. Some people said, you did the right thing. All I know is I did what I thought I could do and I did what I needed to do and uh, you know I'm not saying I, I don't would not share a room with somebody I just don't like sharing a room with a stranger I don't even know who's very sick as same as me you know I, I, I don't know I like single uh, bed hospitals that's where I usually go for my um, my all my operations and all that stuff um, you know, I would share a room, but seriously, I uh, don't like, uh, I like the quietness, you know. There's a lot of snores out there. And I do snore myself, so I don't like to bother another person when they're trying to sleep as well. It's more of a me bothering them type of thing. Uh, not them bothering me. It's kind of me feeling like I'm, I, I just can't, you know, get too comfortable because I don't want to bother them. And that's just me. That's just my personal aspect of everything um it's not like them to me it's me to them so anywho uh that's pretty much about what i have on here it's not the it's not the longest podcast out there a po news thing but it's something to think about you know we're going we're having some problems and this tuberculosis scare it is a scary scary thing um I don't know what to really say on that one. Well, I, I'll talk to you guys later, and I love you all. Bye.